What's that? Oatmeal. Ooh, oatmeal. <laughs> Why can't we eat like we did in the old days? Oh, uh, is this Marilyn's bowl? Yes, of course. She always sits there. <laughs> Might as well start without them. Yeah, no, I, uh, I don't feel so hungry right now. I think I'll grab something later in the laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, you know you're not supposed to smoke before breakfast. <laughs> morning, Aunt Lily. Good morning, dear. I'm late. I gotta run. I'll grab a cup of coffee at the school cafeteria. Very well, dear. Uh, try not to get home before dark. Bye, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Everything's ice cold. <laughs> Morning, Eddie. Morning, dear. Good morning, dear. Isn't Marilyn coming down to breakfast? Oh, she's already left. Oh. Well, that's just as well. I wanted to speak to you about her anyway. Oh, you mean about her problem with boys? Yes. You know Lily? I think it's partially our fault. What do you mean? Well, maybe we should try and be more friendly with people. You must admit that ever since we moved into this house, we've hardly had anything to do with the neighbors. <laughs> they must think we're terrible snobs. <laughs> if we don't make an effort to be a little bit more friendly with the people in this community, we're never going to attract any young men to this house. Well, for Marilyn's sake, I'll try. Good. That's the spirit. <laughs> mm. 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 It just came over me. You've never looked more lovely. Strange. I was just thinking how particularly handsome you look this morning. Is there anybody going to say how lovely I look? someone at the front door. Well, whoever it is, try and be a little bit more friendly. Hmm? Of course. <laughs> oh, if you're looking for me, I'll be out back watering the weeds. <laughs> yes? Um, <clears throat> uh, a, a package of... Uh, uh, Sign here, please. Thank you. Well, hello there. I'm Mr. Bloom, your postman. Mind if I ask you a question? Not at all. Do you believe in love at first sight? <laughs> Longer. Oh, uh, uh, may I? May I be of some assistance? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bloom, please. Call me Warren. Warren, please. Call me Tiger. <laughs> I must look a fright. Oh, not at all, Mrs. Cribbins. You land. After all, we are neighbors. All right. Yolanda. My friends call me Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo? What is it, darling? <laughs> oh, my darling! 
My darling, I love you. I love you. the way that mailman carried on. Perhaps I used too much perfume. <laughs> and that Mrs. Cribbins, the way she went for me. Maybe I just came on too strong. A little bit of that old monster charm goes a long way. <laughs> I can't imagine what he sees in me. After all, I'm not exactly a schoolgirl anymore. Are you kidding? <laughs> Why, Lily? You're as lovely today as the day I married you. Oh, and you're just as handsome. You know, they just don't make men like you anymore. Come in. Will somebody please tell me what's going on around this madhouse? What are you talking about? Mm, what am I talking about here? I'll show you. Come with me. <laughs> Can it be the trees? The trees. <laughs> with rare and magic perfume. It's Tiger. <laughs> oh, no, it isn't the trees. It's war in bloom. <laughs> Poor devil. Yeah, you'd better go down there and straighten him out. No, I'll straighten him no, out. No, no, Grandpa. I'll go down and talk to him. Oh, and Herman, you might as well go over and have a little talk with Mrs. Cribbins. She's been calling every ten minutes. Oh, and whatever you do, let her down easy. Be kind to her. All right. But don't expect too much. Uh, uh, the woman's mad about me. <laughs> Well, hello there. Mrs. Cribbins, hello there. I was just on my way over to...